Earlier this week, we had the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And as my father would say, well, now the days are getting shorter, and before you know it, the snow is going to be flying again. St. Augustine actually preached on the appropriateness of celebrating the birth of John the Baptist immediately following the summer solstice. Because on these days of extended light, Jesus Christ in chapter 5 described John as a burning and shining lamp. But it also reminds us with the shortening of the daylight that John himself said, he, Christ, must increase, I must decrease. John had a very unique mission in life. He was to be the precursor, the forerunner of the Messiah, and he certainly was a light for the world. It cast him in the limelight, but he was willing to recede into the background, to decrease. As an amazing light, crowds flocked to him and listened to his challenging message of conversion, and they were baptized by him. And Jesus himself offered the highest of praise, saying, There is no man born of woman greater than John the Baptist. And people even wondered whether John was the Messiah. In fact, decades after he died, St. Paul was in Ephesus, and as he was preaching and talking about Jesus Christ and this baptism, he found that there were some people who had only heard about the baptism of John. So far was the renown of the Baptist. He was a bright light, and yet he also was willing to blend into the background and to decrease. He was willing to send his own disciples to follow Jesus. As, we, as I mentioned earlier, he said that Christ must increase, I must decrease, and I'm not even worthy to untie his sandal straps. Each of us also has a mission in life. John's was about as rare as they come, but all of us are very unique and are asked to be a light, to be the light of Christ in the world in which we live, in the people we interact with. And sometimes to be the light, to fulfill our mission, means to step out into the limelight. And then there are other times, because of our mission and place in life, we are to decrease and allow others to increase. For instance, in my calling to be a priest, As a teenager, I thought, I don't want to stand in front of everybody, and then you have to sing? Oh, my gosh. And we have musicians, too, who you have no idea the kinds of nerves that they or I might have. You think, I couldn't do that. It's like, that's exactly what I was thinking. I didn't think I could either. And sometimes we are called into the limelight. And then there are other times, because of our vocations, we find ourselves going into the background and others increasing. Parents know this well. You put so many, so much love and sacrifice into your kids and you're running them to this game and that school and that recital and 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 what happens? Oh, you're Danny's mom. Oh, you're Angie's dad. And you're like, um, I have a name. But they increase and you decrease. And it is kind of part of the vocation of parenting. There are other ways in which we are called to increase step in the limelight and ways in which we're called to decrease. And, and certainly within parish life, there are positions like literally in the lights, lecturing, cantering, being an altar server. And then there are others that are in the background that we don't always see unless you come really early and see a sacristan uh, setting up or people getting ready for a funeral dinner. And then there are just simple things like when the food baskets come out, we're bringing all these items and laundry items and toiletries to Catholic charities and, 
And I know there are people in church who are like, I'm not going to go up there in front of everybody and parade like I'm giving a gift. I mean, that's, I mean, when kids do it, that's cute. I'm, I'm not cute. What are we called to do and what are we called to be? Each of us is unique. And in answering God's call, we will find times that we must step into the limelight to reflect the light of Christ. And then there are times we, like John, must decrease. And this, too, is the will of God.